Carbon's electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. This is 1s2, 2s2, and this is 2p2 in ground state. But we know carbon makes four bond. Here we can cite two unpaired electron. For making four bond, there has to be four unpaired electron. The electron from here shift into a higher orbital 2p, from 2s to 2p. So now there are four unpaired electrons. Now this is a inner shell. This belongs to 1s. So 1s will not participate in bonding. So we don't have to consider this. Now there are four unpaired electrons and in CCl4, suppose you have carbon tetrachloride, then there will be four unpaired electrons of chlorine coming to each orbital and there will be bonding. This forms one bond, this forms second bond, third and this forms fourth bond. So now carbon has eight electron in its outermost shell, right? In this case, chloroform, one of the bond is electron is coming from hydrogen, other three are from chlorine. Now what happens in this reaction is hydrogen is abstracted, but hydrogen is abstracted as H plus. So hydrogen leaves its electron. So this, suppose there was a hydrogen here, then hydrogen goes away, but it leaves its electron here. And there are three chlorine like this. So in this intermediate, you have three chlorine and there's a negative charge. Now this negative charge is because of this electron, because the hydrogen has gone with OH minus, but it has left its electron into the orbital of carbon. So it has one extra electron. So because of that, it has negative charge. Now what happens next, when we heat this, then chlorine goes away as Cl minus. That means it has taken away the electron of carbon. Now suppose this chlorine goes away. Now if this chlorine goes away, then it will take its own electron, this one. This belongs to chlorine. So chlorine Cl dot goes away. But it also takes electron of carbon. That's why it goes away as Cl minus. So one of the electron of carbon will also be taken away by this chlorine and it comes out as Cl minus. Right? But the situation is like this. You have a negative charge because of this electron. There's a positive charge because of this empty orbital. We have seen it before that plus charge means empty orbital. And there are two bonds with chlorine as we can see here. Right? So there's a positive charge, there's a negative charge. This electron gives negative charge, this empty orbital brings about positive charge, both are neutralized. So this carbon do not have any charge, it has two electron. Now this, these two electrons can be paired up in a single orbital like this, or it can be in different orbitals like this. Right? So there will be two kinds of carbene. But nevertheless, it will have two electrons that are not involved in bonding and carbon will be making two bonds. So in its outermost shell, it will have six electrons, two, two, four in bonding, and two non-bonded electron. They can be paired, they can be unpaired, right? So this is what carbene is. Now you have formed carbene, you can see it is having two electrons deficient. It is two electron deficient intermediate. So this is, this will be a electrophile, it will love electron, right? So somewhere now in the reaction, there must be an electron rich site. Because of this deficiency, it will go and take up the electron from that electron rich site and the reaction can proceed ahead. So now the task is to search that electron rich site into the system. So if you can, if you remember what we took is phenol, chloroform and a strong base. So whatever can be done between chloroform and base have been done. So this chloroform, now this carbene, this intermediate coming out of chloroform will search for electron rich site. An electron rich site can be found because this hydrogen of phenol has, has gone. Because I told you the reaction will first occur with hydrogen of phenol, next it will occur with the hydrogen of chloroform. So all the phenol is now phenoxide. Hydrogen has been taken, abstracted by the base. But now, now this phenoxide will not, uh, will not appear like this to chloroform. It will appear like this to chloroform. 
we write it like this but we understand and we have we have we had a long discussion multiple times before that resonance hybrid is the real structure these resonating structures are simple looking but they are hypothetical they don't give proper information about the real distribution of electronic wave this gives the proper information correct information about the real distribution of electronic wave because they are four electronic rich side because of resonance this is one of the resonating structure and this is not the real molecule the negative charge that has been shown fully on oxygen is not fully on oxygen it is distributed to other three carbons as well on drawing the resonating structure there will be five rs and in other three rs there will be negative charge on this carbon if we draw the one rs of this we will shift this pi bond on this carbon so that a plus charge comes on this carbon and c plus and o minus forms a bond so one of the rs will look like this fine and when you translate ahead then this negative charge alternatively will, will come on this carbon and then alternatively come on this carbon and then alternatively leaving this carbon will come on this oxygen so you can make three more rs's so there will be altogether five rs fine so we 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 know this this is the something we began studying organic from so what we will use the information that this resonance hybrid is the real structure and they are electron rich site so this carbene has to search for electron rich site and there are four electron rich site and the reaction with oxygen will not occur the reason i'll tell you later but reaction considering that this carbene will not approach this oxygen this carbene will approach these three carbons one of the reason that I, we can quickly discuss about is negative charge on our carbon are more unstable and this is also a highly unstable intermediate now if two hard kind of species are there then the reaction between them will be kinetically controlled and the reaction between them will be fast for instance hard for instance strong acid and strong base reacts very quickly strong acid and a weak base will have a decreased rate of reaction similarly this is a strong electrophile and this is a strong nucleophile so these two the kinetics of these two reaction will be very fast so the reaction is here kinetically controlled so this carbene will quickly come and attack these carbon now probabilistically there are two similar sites at ortho position and there's one para so probabilistically there's no more probability of this carbene to come and react at this ortho position because there are two of them right so what i am doing is i'm using this rs although this is hypothetical but it is simple and the whole science the whole technology the whole effort of the brain of scientist and engineer is to simplify living simplify things so in chemistry we go the similar way to keep things simple we use this resonating structure we know that this is hypothetical but we still use it because life seems simple dealing with this rs so uh, i'm trying to do the reaction at ortho position so i'm using this rs fine so this carbene comes at this ortho position what happens then 